Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I wanted to uh, know what was a good website for uh, drivers for my computer. What, what kind of computer do you have? Uh, I have a few custom-built computers. I just lost the driver CDs for the motherboards and stuff. Yeah, oh boy. And you build them yourself? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one is a really old AMD K6. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty old. <laughs> well, Not running a powerhouse. <laughs> at least you don't have to worry about, you know, drivers for the processor. Of course, the chipset and likely the BIOS and yeah. everything else, you know, you got, that's where you have to worry about it. Um, I used to know a guy, well, I, I suppose I still know him, I just never talk to him anymore, uh, who built a website called windrivers.com. It was eventually acquired, and uh, for years and years and years, it was the definitive place to find drivers, specifically for Windows. Now, I'm assuming you're you're trying to get Windows drivers, not necessarily uh, Linux drivers, correct? Right, Windows drivers. Because that would be, Linux drivers would be a completely different, you know, ball game here. Uh, I'm still going to recommend WindDrivers.com, largely because well, it was acquired by Internet.com, and uh, it seems that uh, it's still uh, being actively maintained. They're bragging now that there's new free unlimited access, and uh, that's nice because a lot of the places where if I've been looking for a driver, because I've been eh, sometimes I'll be in the same boat. It's like I'm looking for an obscure a driver for some wacky car that I can't find and the, the manufacturer site no longer exists or you can't find it on their site or you know I, I, I bought it through an OEM and there's it's, it's just a mess. Um, some sites that I uncover you seem to get lost in a myriad of junk before you actually get to the thing that you're looking for. Uh, sites that are notorious for confusing users are uh, sites that are designed to well confuse you but uh, are set up to help you download DLL files or VBX files or files that are missing so that when you search for them on the, on the web, uh, you know, with the right amount of search engine optimization, their site will come up first. You're looking for XYZ DLL. It's on the site, but you got to dive through 44 different pages in order to get to exactly what it is you're looking for. Um, WinDrivers doesn't do any of that. And, uh, you know, I'm always very leery when I make recommendations for download sites I'm not I'm inclined to the only download site I'm inclined to give a direct recommendation for is uh, well it used to be web attack mm -hmm. and I don't know if you follow them at all web attack um, heard of it now well now they're uh, they, they've changed their brand of course I, I still always just think of them as web attack in fact I'm pretty sure I can probably go to webattack.com and it should redirect web attack Attack.com and it, it'll redirect to snap files if it works. Yep, there we go. Snapfiles.com, uh, but it's still known as as Web Attack. I know that guy as well, and he he maintains a, a very clean website. Wind drivers for drivers, snap files for fantastic freeware and shareware stuff, uh, and uh, you know this is this is where you got to be really careful when it comes to downloading things. Even though you think you're downloading a driver from a website, you may think is official or that has this driver, you may be downloading a Trojan and you don't even know it. And yeah. you think you're fixing a problem when, in fact, you're creating a new one. That's how a lot of uh, people get snagged, uh, you know. And that's yeah. why it's always important, especially if you're downloading from a third-party site, to uh, well, number one, don't if you if you can all help it, uh, or or at least if you do, know that you're going through a reputable website that isn't going to really mess with you. And to my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, both Snap Files or Web Attack. Um, and wind drivers could uh, you know complete the circle for you on on, on both uh, drivers and general software because I know the people who set them up. Yeah, I wish I would have known about that a few months ago. I had I had a bunch of old Dell Optiflex uh, desktops, XPX, or no, it was a Dell uh, XPX or whatever. But anyways, um, I had to reinstall and put two thousand on them, and uh, I needed the the drivers for the video card, and I couldn't find them. Mm. But uh, I finally found a website that, you know, did get it. I had to go to, uh, I think it was ATI or something like that. I had to go to their website, and then I finally did find it. Digging through all that stuff. It wasn't on the like, Dell website. They just don't make it easy, do they? Not really. Nobody Dell doesn't make it make easy it like easy. I thought they would have. Nobody makes it easy anymore. And, you know, sometimes they leave you to your own devices, quite literally. In fact, today, right. and I'm going to be writing up this tip, I think, separately on my blog because I needed it for quite some time. I've got my HP scanner, printer, etc., all on one device, 
and I couldn't get the HP scan to work in Leopard. Worked fine in Tiger on OS X. And Data Lore from chat says, oh, I know, yeah, the answer to the problem is just run it in uh, Rosetta. I'm like, what? And I didn't even know the option was there. And as soon as I toggled this one simple check mark, it worked again. So I had the software in place. It was just a, a small configuration. But I didn't get that from HP. I got it in a forum on HP that Data Lore directed me to, but long after I had looked at it the first time and didn't have a solution to it. So it's good that you're reaching out to you know the rest of this community uh, and the community of geeks, let's just say. Uh, we, yeah. we really, that's, we're wide and varied and with all sorts of backgrounds and, and whatnot. And literally, all sorts of backgrounds on two different monitors or just one. Sorry, it was a very bad uh, nerd uh, pun there. Anyway, thanks for uh, calling. All right, well, thank you. Good luck. See you soon. All right, thanks. All right. Bye. Bye.